Yo, what's up? So this is basically the last joint of the night. Drake, Certified Lover Boy. I fucking hate that title. I fucking hate that the nigga put a heart in his hair. I don't even like the fucking album artwork. It's like, what the fuck? Like, I, I, I'm honestly not anticipating this album. I don't really have nothing, no thoughts on it. Um, hopefully Laugh Now, Cry Later is not um, on the album because we know how that cheat code go. That shit did so many numbers, streams or whatever, and to get it on the album, definitely going platinum. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, because if it's what we thinking it is, it's like, nigga, you should just did a sequel to Take Care at that point. I'm just not here for that Drake emotional shit no more, all those sappy ass excuse me, love songs and shit, you know what I mean, it's like, rap, nigga, I want you to rap, like, just rap, even if it is on some emo shit, for rap, I don't want to hear you trying to harmonize and sing, I don't fucking want to hear that Drake album, it's like, dude, do you realize that since Views, he haven't put out a solid body of work, More Life was cool, couple joints on there was alright, Views was not what we thought it was going to be, um, what the fuck else he dropped? Scorpion was, no, that w- that wasn't it either. And then the dark demos, shitty drop, whatever that shit is, whatever it just wasn't. No, I mean, damn, bro. I just when it comes to Drake, it's just the certain elements of his craft I can appreciate. Anything with a PM in it, the song we know it's gonna be fire. I mean, but. Oh, my stomach. I need to eat something. Fuck. Um, even with his more R&B records, or I guess singing records, whatever you want to call it, it's like, I remember his first album. Even though Kanye wrote the song, Find Your Love, I just still think that's dope as fuck. Like, shit like that. It's like, bro, nothing you've released, in my opinion, is better than that song. Money-wise and chart-wise, sure. But it's just some catchy bullshit. Like, it's not vulnerable like, he's not really being emotional. I mean, he did have songs on Scorpion. You know, the song that he did for uh, Jaded. I forget her name. She fine as shit. And uh, the other joint where people thought he was talking about uh, Bella Hadid. And it was like, you and your sister, too hard to handle. Like, that song, that's my shit, though. <laughs> but it's just like certain moments. It's like, okay, we'll give it to Drake. Like, yeah, all right, that's cool, but... Ugh, I just, you know, I just don't, I don't understand that shit. And then being, him being from Canada, basically, I don't know if y'all know who uh, D Pride, well, he go by Russell now, his real name, but D Pride, he was doing the whole Lover Boy um, album and, and, and things of that nature. He's been doing music like that where he's really singing. A nigga can sing 10 times better than Drake, but I, I thought that was kind of lame because it's just like, damn, this nigga sometimes even from people from where his in his country he'll take little bits and pieces and i notice it because i follow certain people from there but i just feel like it's funny that you come out with an album called certified lover boy and shout out to russell you know that nigga literally put out an album called lover boy and he did uh another project with something similar to that and it's just like yo drake you can't act like you ain't seeing what niggas is doing with you in your country like you see that shit you know what I mean? And I thought that was kind of lame because it's like, what the fuck? But they always say Drake is a biter. You know what I mean? But that was one of the instances where I was like, yeah, hold on. It's just certain little things that I see that he does with certain artists that comes from Toronto and everything like that. You know what I mean? You won't really... He put niggas on, you know, that's from there. A couple of people on his label and shit. But it's just certain elements I see that he takes from and won't give credit to. It's like, bro, that's not even your idea. You've seen something and got inspired and try to do your own version of it. Dre got to get out of that type of shit. But, I mean, even Tory Lanez, nigga. Tory Lanez is a... <laughs> he's been rapping better than Drake for the last couple years, and I don't know why niggas is not talking about that shit. Like, because it's the fucking truth. It's too late for them to, to work now because of the Meg situation. But back before that, Yeah. They would make something dope. It's been records Drake has had. And I was like, yo, if Tory Lanez was on that hook and had a verse, that shit would be crazy. You know what I mean? Especially on uh, Scorpion. It was a few joints I thought Tory would have killed. Um, 
even that mixtape he put out, you know what I mean? But it's just certain things that I feel like, I don't know, when it comes to Drake, it's just I wish he'd be more inspired to do more, you know what I mean? Like, change the sound of music for all the praise that they get us, nigga. You know, I'm a fan of him. I'm not hating on him, but I just feel like, well, why can't he shift the culture? He's done it. Sure, we'll give him his credit. Ten years running. Ha ha. We get that. But it's just like, I don't know. Niggas is making way better music than him. But he's the number one rapper, which he is. Artist, whatever you want to call it. But it's like, we can't ignore the fact that his niggas out here dropping way better music than this nigga. He just gets more streams. You know, so, I don't know. The surf certified lover boy shit I don't really know what the fuck he gonna do with that shit I mean I hope he changed the artwork I hope that's not the real artwork you know what I mean um I feel like he dropped the ball even though Odell dumbass said that oh Drake dropping first of the year and that would have been fucking crazy if he did he would have at least I even said it he would have went platinum in a day if he would have dropped that as soon as the ball dropped Drake new album here you know what I'm saying it it would have been fucking crazy you know what I mean? Because I know the album done. We all know it's done. We know it. It's like Drake. I don't think the world will open back up no time soon, my nigga. I know you can't tour, but at this point, you got enough money where you good. You ain't got to really trip off that. Drop the album. You know what I mean? Drop some visuals or some shit like that. I think that'd probably be the hardest part is trying to be creative to how you're going to shoot a music video for some of these songs. But that would show the type of artist that you are when you start using your brain and being creative. I mean, just shooting a fucking video in your mansion... All right, that's cool. It's like we've seen it before, but at least make a song themed, cater to that, so where the video makes sense. You know what I mean? Because I don't know how many videos would have seen of this nigga in his crib. I think we over that shit at this point. You know what I mean? Just be a little bit more adventurous when you dropping shit. I'm not an artist, so I don't know. People look, what the fuck are you saying? You're not a rapper. But I'm just saying, like, we can't keep giving him credit for doing mediocre shit. If people hate Eminem for the last few albums he dropped, and they've been better than... uh the revival joint then what the fuck even though Eminem even stated in his latest joint that eventually the fans gonna trade on Drake and hate on Drake no matter if he dropping some fire shit or not that's going that's inevitable though it happened to Hov like Em said it happened to him but at least he gotta be dropping great music though you can't cookie cutter shit is not gonna do it no more cause it's like alright we can't keep saying that this nigga's an elite artist if he ain't really dropping elite music I mean 2020 to me, was a year of ransom. He killed everything, every project he dropped. And then I was saying on Twitter that motherfuckers was saying something like he took a shot at ransom or some shit, but I was like, that couldn't be. Like, he don't want that smoke. But, I mean, I don't know, bro. I'm just tired of nigga making songs and videos just to be in the meme culture. You know what I mean? His antics always will become a meme or a gif or quotables that's, good he's good at you know dropping good quotables but at the same time it's like man can you drop some shit that where it's just like niggas shut the fuck up and be like yo that drake song is crazy you know what i mean other than the cliche shit the normal shit he always do shit get boring though but i ain't really expecting too much for this shit man he may turn around and drop an album like that and it can be nothing what i thought it'd be and it's like i can come back and be honest like oh shit okay the album is not what i thought it was gonna be it's great. Or it can be exactly what I'm saying. I'll be disappointed. You know what I mean? I don't really go off what other people say about music. You always got to listen to it for yourself. But the direction I'm seeing that he's going in, I just got a feeling it. I'm going to be disappointed. Because we know he always going for that global sound. You know, those streams got to count for something. He wants that money. So he not really going to do nothing that's a little bit easy. I mean, well, he'll do something easy, but he won't really put no effort into something to where it's just like, okay, even if it don't sell, like even if it flop, but the art itself is strong. And I think a lot of people want to get to that point where they feel like, damn, I just got to keep winning. I got to stay number one. Yeah, you've been number one for the last couple of years, but it's like the music been iffy, iffy. You know what I mean? If you want to say that, it's like, eh, it's number one, but it ain't crazy. So... I think he got to get his inspiration back. You know, he needs to find out who he is once again and what he's all about. You know what I mean? Because if you're going to really retire, you want to be like MJ the first time. You don't want to be 45 MJ. You know what I mean? So 
I guess we all sit here and wait and see what he gonna do when he drop. But other than that, I just want to say that. So I'll holler at y'all. One.